And as a result, I can charge more money for this product because the value for the client is greater. The last time I made this video, I showed you how much I charged when I first started taking videography seriously. And you guys found out that I charged them very little four half day shoots and editing for 280 pounds that's a joke we finished that video in march of 2020 and between march and around august nothing really happened because of the uh pandemic but then things took a little turn i started making product commercial videos on this channel and then companies started reaching out to me and as a result my business model changed for the first time so in this video i'm gonna go through my invoices and tell you exactly what i did and how much I charged. So we have here invoice number one, the 27th of August, 2020. This was for the first product commercial that I was paid to do, and I charged 400 pounds for it. When I did this, I thought to myself, wow, I just made 400 pounds for filming something in my living room, and I didn't have to leave anywhere, I didn't have to pay for transport, I didn't have to speak to anybody. That gave me a lot of motivation, because I was like, wow, wow, this could be the new thing that I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Next invoice. This was one of the first fragrance companies that I worked for. I made a video breaking down what it takes to make a fragrance video and they're actually pretty straightforward and pretty fun to do. And I only charged 200 pounds and there's a reason why I charged less than the other one. Number one, the product wasn't as complicated, didn't have a whole bunch of features. It was literally just a fragrance that I had to make look pretty. The other reason was because I really wanted to get into the fragrance game bear in mind i was still building my portfolio at this point i only had a few product commercials under my belt and i wanted to get more keep that in mind next time you're thinking about pricing next invoice was for the 29th of october of 2020 i only charged 150 pounds because it was literally just making a video for a banner putting some clips together pretty straightforward pretty easy here we're in january of 2021 this was a company over in australia and i charged 87 pounds 50 for that half day edit march 2021 doing some fragrance commercials i pitched that i will only do 20 second videos for it so 120 pounds for it okay the next invoice is for march of 2021 i did a 30 second product video which included half a day of production and pre-production and one day of editing and my day rate for that was 175 pounds so they really liked the first one and were like it Let's do more. So I worked with them on four more occasions in March, totaling a whopping £2,010 and 50 pence with a day rate of £175. And most of the time, it was just short videos that needed many translations and exporting in different formats. And there was a mix between product videos and editing videos of influencers using the product. So this month is looking pretty good. Money. Next invoice is again for March 2019 and I basically just wanted eight Facebook and Google ads and I made in total 700 pounds for that. At this point, I started to hire on editors because the workload that I was getting was a lot, but I also would make sure that everything looked like my style. Okay, the next invoice is for another product video. This is for a bottle company. What I pitched here was one 30 second video and then a shorter version that was 15 seconds and uh, 450 pounds in the bag, another juicy part that everybody loves for the end of march 2020 we made a total of three thousand five hundred and forty two pounds and fifty pence and that's this much in dollars june 2021 we have an invoice for 1575 not a bad way to start june money so we made a total of 36 videos a lot of them are translations and then also do them in two formats vertical and square so 525 pounds times three next invoice is again for june this was a product video for a pharmaceutical company. It says 45 to 60 seconds, but I was more like the 40 second mark and two formats and I charged 700 pounds. So our next invoice is, oh, this is actually super interesting. A company reached out to me who are basically an agency. They go out, they film the videos and then they outsource the editing. And that kind of model, the agency model is what I think a lot of freelancers are really missing out on because this is the literal key for you to unlock the world of consistent work if you want consistent work you need to find agencies that get consistent clients and from those consistent clients you will get consistent work pretty straightforward simple 
for two videos, I made a total of $600. The 30th of June, we got three more videos from them with another $600. So for the month of June, I made a total of £3,167. So March and June, really good months compared to what we've been doing before, but we're doing much less work. 25th of July, product photography shoot. This was for a friend, a mate of mine who sells products on Amazon. Pretty straightforward. Took me like an hour to shoot. 29th of July with the agency, made four videos, 950 US dollars. So for July, we made a total of 832 pounds. So for August 2021, I made six videos and 800 US dollars. August 16th, some Instagram brand videos, a product video and reimbursement for postage. By this point with this company, I already had a rhythm going on. I knew the style that they wanted. For this, we made 750 pounds and 85 pence another invoice for august 1710 pounds it's a very very interesting invoice this is where my business model for product videos changed once again so what i realized is that a lot of companies that i make the product videos for end up putting the ads on facebook they do a lot of ad testing they check which ones do best and then they put more money into it to reach bigger audiences so i thought to myself okay what matters to the companies is not really the video or how great your video looks or how amazing in your orange and teal color grade is what matters for the company is the result that the video brings the result being more awareness more sales whatever rather than me making one video and hoping that my video does really well and brings them the results why don't i give them the opportunity to test variations of a video what i pitched to them was i'll make them one video but i'll change the beginning three to five seconds of the video otherwise called the hook of the video the company will receive three videos and they can test all three three videos and whichever one does the best they can put more money into it so from a value perspective companies are getting greater return in their investment from a videographer perspective is great because I make one video and I just got to change the intro to be more interesting not a difficult and as a result I can charge more money because the value for the client is greater and if you guys are interested potentially try this with your next client for the next invoice, we did the same thing. I charged 890 pounds plus the cost of a voiceover from Fiverr, four short videos where the hook was different. However, this was interesting because they wanted me to get a voiceover. I got a voiceover. They realized I didn't actually like the voiceover, so I changed it. And I made sure that if there's a change of scope, I have to charge accordingly. So for this, we made a total of 942 pounds and 79 pence. For August 31st, I did another product commercial with the same thing, three 15 to 20 second videos with hook variations of the first three to five seconds and i charged 700 pounds and i also hired some models for it and i made 820 pounds for this so for august we made a total of drum roll please 4783 pounds and 64 pence. I really attribute that to the change in the business model. 1st of September, 2021, we're back to agency videos, made a total of $600. Another video for one of the consistent companies, but this was a brand film, which had a bunch of motion graphics. And we also charged a 15% overtime charge because they wanted things ASAP and I had to work extra days and nights to get this done. So we charged 805 pounds. On the 8th of September, translations to a previous product video that we did, automated process, super easy and we also did some revisions for the brand film i made 462 pounds and 50 pence for september we made 1714 pounds and 50 pence again it varies but that's the nature of freelancing and sometimes it may be good sometimes it may be shit we're now in october agency videos 375 dollars but after these videos I decided to take on much less client work because I wasn't putting enough time on this platform, this community that I've built here. I really want to just spend more time creating videos for you guys, showing you guys everything that I've learned throughout this whole process. Okay, so for October 2020, we only made 279 pounds and 39 pence. For November 2020, 1,010 pounds, which was for another product commercial with translations. From August 2020 until November, 2021 i made a total of actually i haven't actually calculated 15 plus 
£16,060.53. Pretty much insane given that the year before that, I made a total of £6,575.60. But I was doing probably 10 times the amount of work. Let me know what you think below. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok because I post a lot of short form content there. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.